Hey there, today we're gonna to talk about how to grow your business. Are you feeling like your business just isn't taking off the way you want it to? Uh, maybe you're new in your business and you've done all these things that everybody's telling you to do and nothing's happening. Or maybe you're just making some small sales and it's just not getting you excited and you're not sure what you're doing wrong. If you noticed, a lot of people are spending time doing all these tasks you might be posting on instagram three times a day and then you got to go to facebook and post and then you got to make youtube videos and and you've got so many things you need to do every day that you end up realizing you're just doing stuff does is that how you're feeling well i'm going to give you four tips today i'm actually um four tips and they actually are an acronym for the word grit g-r-i-t and that's going to help you remember because today i don't have a powerpoint with the recap on the end it is so beautiful outside today I thought I'm just gonna do something outside and you just get an acronym instead of a PowerPoint sorry about that so remember G R I T all right and these are four things that will help you grow your business they're general but they're gonna help you overall number one is goals make sure you have goals that you're trying to reach and what I mean by that Sometimes we have goals for the day, like I want to do all of these certain tasks, but you don't have that big goal. Like what are, what are these little tasks that I'm doing every day and every week leading up to? What am I working towards? And sure, a lot of people say, well, I want to make passive income. I want to um, make enough money to quit my job. And we all want that, but what are the goals? Like what is the amount of money that you need to make to, to quit your job? How much money do you need to make every month to be able to quit your job and then every week every day and at least then you have some goals that you're striving towards and you might say yeah but that that goal is so big it's so far out there it seems impossible well it does seem impossible now but you still have to have something to reach for so even if you want to lower it to, to these are the goals I want to make just for the next year and then build up from there whatever works for you but you have to have a goal that you're striving for. Think of yourself when you're going on a trip. You plan, you pack your bag, you know where you're going, you have to buy your ticket to get there, plane ticket, maybe you're going to Disney World and you have to plan every day out. Why do we do that for vacation? It's no different for your business. You have to plan it out and know exactly what it is you're striving for. If you don't have that map, that road map to get there, then you're just gonna be driving in circles because you don't know where you're going, all right? So number one is goals. Number two, remember GRIT, G-R-I-T, is the R for relationships. Now, what do I mean by that? I don't mean just relationships on multimedia, your own so or social media, I'm sorry. Um, I don't mean just those um, relationships that you're engaging with people and you're building a customer base. Yes, that's important, but what's really gonna help you grow your business? You have to start forming relationships that people that are in the same business as you, people that are above you, people that are below you, and people that are your peers that you're working with, and people that are your clients. So everybody, if you ask any person that has, is very, very successful and say, did you do this all by yourself? And they're gonna tell you no, I had to form relationships. And I'm gonna quote uh, Kevin David, he's, he's huge, you can look him up. He made, I think sold, make, brought in $10 million just last year. Um, he's very big with ClickFunnels, his name is Kevin David. But I remember him sharing in one of his videos, he said, when I first got in, I thought I could do it all by myself, I was gonna do everything my way. And he goes, and I tried for, I think he said six months or whatever, I don't know how long, but he said, I just knew that I could do this without any help, and he said, but when I let that go and I started realizing I need other people to be part of my life and have those relationships that's when my business took off so don't try to do it by yourself there's there's no pride in that um, you want to connect with people it's called net marking connecting you know you remember you've learned in um, high school you know you got to network with people so go out there and make them natural don't just try to connect because you want something from somebody but connect with them because you genuinely want to connect with people in the in the business and and you can learn from each other you have a lot to offer as well as they do so it's a give-and-take situation the I in grit is intention you want to be very intentional when you do things I know when I really thought about this one word and each day when I made my list of things that I wanted to do I asked myself why are you doing this today why do you have this on your list and what do you want to get out of that 
task. For instance, when you go to make a podcast, why am I making this podcast? What is my purpose? What's the intention? A YouTube video. What is my intention in this YouTube video? What's my intention in this post? Anything that you do, do it with intention. Just don't say, I'm, I'm making a YouTube video because I want to make one every day and I want to have lots of content. Well, that's great, but what's the purpose? What are you trying to teach? Today, you're learning about grit. I'm not just standing here talking to you and saying, look at this beautiful scenery. Um, I'm talking to you about trying to help you build your business and giving you those tips so there's intention in what I'm giving you today as an example. All right, what is an, um, the T? in grit is for tenacity. Tenacity is when you want to make a lot of noise out there. And what I mean, um, usually people who go into business or entrepreneurs, they're the people that everybody says is crazy because they just won't take no for an answer. Have you ever been um, noticed that might be you because this is you're here as an entrepreneur, but basically you're that person who will keep on pushing no matter what. You've got people telling you you're crazy. You've got people telling you that you know that that business you're trying to go into just isn't going to work. It's a scam. Um, you're going to hear all these negative things. People with tenacity, they just can't hear that. They go blah 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 blah. I can't hear it, and they just don't listen. Um, and they keep going forward and keep pushing no matter what because they believe that it's that they can do it. They have that tenacity, um, if that makes sense. Um, they also have no fear. They're, they're not afraid to fail. Um, I know personally myself that anytime I go into something to not have that fear, I ask myself, what is the worst thing that's going to happen? And if I, if I know that I can handle that worst thing and not die from it, then why not? Why not go forward and keep pushing and, and knowing in my head that I can handle that worst thing that's gonna ha that could happen I'm okay with it. I've already solved that problem. That's kind of how I keep going forward, besides the fact that I just want to prove to myself that I can do it. Um, so those are four things that will help you continue to grow your business. And like I said, it is a, these are the core things that will help you build your business. There's grit. And what does grit stand for? Goals, relationships, intention, and tenacity. And what I want to offer you today is if you're new in your business or you're you're not sure if your business is taken off the way you want, uh, there's a 30-day training below that you can take. It's just 30 days. It is one of the best trainings that I ever took. It just made everything start skyrocketing for me. Um, you go in there and every day there's three trainers that come in live. And this is the part I love about this training. They come in and train you and then they give you homework every day. Sometimes I feel like when you get training, I know for myself, you just kind of put it on and you hear this droning in the background after a while because it's stuff that, I don't know, you just listen to it and then nobody's telling you to go do something. And so you end up just listening to it and before you know it, it's just background noise. And then you just stop watching it. So you've just paid good money for some training some people pay a thousand dollars and you're not getting anything out of it. This training is a hundred dollars, 30 days long, and every day you have homework to do. So with that, you've got to have the tenacity to keep on top of it because if you don't, you're, you're going to miss out. You'll get behind and that's not good. You have to make it a goal to get through those 30 days. You will build all kinds of relationships in this training because you're in there in a Facebook group with people as well and you can connect with people. Some of them have been through it before. That's how good it is. People take it over again um, because it just keeps building their business. So no matter where you're at, whether you're just starting out or you're already you know, making really good money, it's just going to increase that. It's going to make it better. It takes you from where you're at to a higher level. Um, and go in there with the intention of learning and the intention of doing the homework and doing what you're told to do. And last, again, have tenacity. <laughs> um, just don't listen to the naysayers and go in there fearless and say, I'm going to make this work. I'm going to do everything I can to get everything I can out of this training so that I can grow my business. So like I said, click below and take advantage of that training. All right. And below that, I'm going to give you, let's, uh, 